this video I'm going to show you how to use PHP code to detect what operating system the user um, is using. Now if you've seen my, um, I think it was, um, browser ID, uh, stuff like that, um, to detect what uh, browser the user is using, um, it's pretty much the same script as that, it's same layout, same sort of way. So, um, so let's open up Dreamweaver and I'll show you now. So first off we need to actually get the browser ID. So the browser underscore ID is equal to um, dollar underscore server. Then inside here we need http underscore oops, user underscore agent. Now if I just echo out the um, browser ID here and let's see what we get um, basically we get that um, the um, browser's ID really um, and in if you remember my detect uh, browser you remember that we selected keywords from this this line so as you can see there's something in this line that detects what browser I'm using but in this case it's um, Firefox um, now if I open up um, into Explorer and go to the same on two seven not not one forward slash PHP forward slash detect OS um one two seven right, let's go for it this way um detect OS um, as you can see we get it's slightly different. Um, now, if I just make this one a bit smaller here so we can see it, um, on this top one we have um, Firefox near the end, and on this one we have MSIE which detects the um, browser. Now, um, in here, on both of them we have Windows and Windows, um, and if I, um, I will show you something in a minute. Let me just pause the video because I forgot to do it. Okay, here we go. And on um, my iPhone, um, you'll see how you get in here somewhere that says iPhone to detect that they're using an iPhone. Um, so that's basically what I just wanted to show you there. So each operating system will display different um, results depending on what you're using um, so if we go back to Dreamweaver and then basically we can just say in here if and in an if statement we can put if str pause which is string position so if anywhere in that string contains well anywhere in this string now browser underscore id anywhere in there that says Windows and be careful that it is case sensitive so if Windows is found in that browser ID we're going to um, echo um, your operating system is Windows um, so basically if I save that and refresh this page we get your operating system is Windows and um, fresh IE obviously but it'll be the same um, so let's get rid of that for now well now really and basically what you can do is you can copy this down um, for a other ones you can put um, a Mac um, now on the Mac it comes up as Macintosh and then you can just change it there I hope I've spelled that right, but anyway, you get the idea, and um, you can just keep going. Really, you've got um, oh, this is going to be the last one now. Um, Linux, and um, because I um, because Linux, you can also do this for Android, um, but because Android runs off a Linux background, then it will come up 
twice if you know what I mean so you can just put here or Android Android and last one which I'm gonna do is iPhone. Now on iPhone, you'll see, um, if I go back to this um, photo here, as you can see, it comes up with a capital, I mean a lowercase i, then a capital P. Um, so you must put that in um, as it stands. So if I just go back to Dreamweaver and then I like that, and then iPhone. Save that out and obviously I can't test uh, the Mac and Linux. Um, I well ha I have tested Linux because um, my brother has an Android phone um, and I've tested that before doing this tutorial so I know um, that one works and I know iPhone works because um, I've got an iPhone so I can test it now so basically if I just um, do that and if I just create a print screen of this again and um, just send this to my email so one second okay here is the um, another one it says your operating system is iPhone so um, you can see that it works fully and um, the only one I can't that I haven't tested is the Mac because um, I haven't got a Mac um, to be honest, I don't really know anyone that has a Mac. Um, so, yeah, that's basically just how to detect an operating system. And thanks for watching.